So let's set up your machine to do some real software development. I'm going to show you how to do this on Windows and to start we're going to install Visual Studio Code which is a open source code editor. I mean you can write your code in almost any application but it's easier to write it in a decent editor because it will have features like uh, autocomplete and autosuggest and it will do some color highlighting so you can actually see what you're coding. And this is actually a pretty nice editor. It runs on Windows, OS X, Linux, and we're going to download about 51 megabytes. And if the download's complete, we're gonna open it. And we are going to accept the agreement. Click next, next again. And we actually wanna create a desktop icon, which is easier to launch the application. We are going to add some other integrations with Windows and we're going to make it the default code editor for supported file types. Assuming you don't already have another uh, preferred editor installed, in which case you would probably skip this step anyway. So let's click install and it's done. And we're not gonna launch it because we're going to install a few other things. So now we're moving on to downloading and installing Git. And Git is a, um, a version control tool. It allows you to download open source packages to your computer, make changes, commit these changes back to uh, open source platform like GitHub where uh, your open source code can be hosted and people can collaborate on open source packages. It will be nice to fetch some submodules when you are actually coding. So again, we're going to launch the installer straight away and click next, next again. And then this screen is important. We're going to choose the default editor to be used and we're going to select Visual Studio Code as Git's default editor. We just installed it, so. And next again, and again, and again, and again, and finish and it's installing. So no need to view the release notes, finish again. And now the last package to install, which is Node.js. And this allows us to run Node JavaScript applications we coded on our machine. So let's download the Windows installer, click next, accept, next, 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 install. And your machine is almost ready. So let's close the browser and let's launch Visual Studio Code. And it will show this nice welcome screen and it has a few options to install some add-ons straight away. So we're going uh, to install support for JavaScript as we're going to code JavaScript. So let's click it and give it OK. So it's going to relaunch after installation which it just did. Then we are going to install Sublime Keymap, which is not really necessary, but there are some nice keyword shortcuts for Sublime. You can apply to Visual Studio Code as well. Sublime is actually another editor. Um, and now we are going to Terminal, and then we're going to start a new terminal. It will show here in the second half of the screen and we're going to select change the default shell and we are going to select git bash and then we're going to kill this terminal and the next time we'll launch a terminal it will use git bash so your machine is set up let's continue with some coding 